Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression to Start Studio Gallery. I'm hoping to facilitate using some of my shovels by pre-filling them. That is a Venetian blue from Modern Masters. This is a Hot Orchid from Color Art Prison Pour. That's an Arteza Silver. I'm not sure what color that is. Let's add a little more. That's my regular black mix, and I have held back some black enamel from Folk Art, which I may or may not use right off the bat. I'm going to start with some white Anita's Metallic. And I'm not sure how I want to do this. I think I want to start in the center. And I don't necessarily want to make it even. I'm going to let some of that relax right over the edge. And the same over there. And I could probably scrape that out with my Princeton Artful Catalyst Spatula and be pretty happy. I don't, like I said, I'm not looking for having, having things be symmetrical and super even. I want them a little odd. Because I'm going to go in here with a Floatrol coated card in a moment. We hope. All right, so I want, I'm probably going to put a line of black enamel in between these things. Just for to facilitate time, I'm going to add it right like it is. Don't ask me what I'm doing. It's just an idea that I had that I really like the lighter colors. I may have to add some more white if I want to keep it. Paint will flow to paint, so if you can get your shovel to flow down for a second, it will drag a line of paint. But I think I'm also going to just keep taking everything out of my shovel. Put that right over the edge on both sides. I could probably dab my, um, my Princeton Artel Catalyst Mini Blade Spatula, available on my Amazon link, underneath the link tree. Ask me if you guys ever need a tool or a paint, uh, paint color. Please feel free to just ask me. Oh, I almost spilled my Venetian blue. Ah! <laughs> and I almost spilled my next thing, too. So, I'm going to do that as quickly as possible. I want to be able to swipe from the outside in, and I'm not sure how any of this is going to work. This is my first time for a long time, if I ever did it. And I think I probably did it my first year. Yeah, I can't help myself. I just do stuff. <laughs> but if you give somebody else ideas of something they might want to do, that's kind of cool. I like that idea. Thank you for telling me I inspire you guys. I'm just going to use my finger this time because it's a lot easier. I see those bubbles over there. I'm going to have to pop them with my torch. My torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint before they harden. And at this stage, it's not really important. I really want the rest of that paint out of there. I'm not much on wasting the hot orchid. It's not inexpensive, but it's so worth it. Well, I can put it on my Lola Fee silicone mat and peel it up later. The more I put in on there, the better my skins are. That's going in that bucket. I'm going to do... Some very random things, evidently. Just to get some paint in there. I'm being called the turquoise. So I think there's going to be some turquoise in a minute. Whoa! <laughs> I almost flipped my spatula right down on the floor. Butterfingers. Well, that's not going to matter in a minute. I wish I hadn't done it though. I'm having a problem today with tails of paint. Paint tails.
Okay, so all that's left right now is the black. I think I'm going to want some gold as well as that turquoise. And that shovel worked pretty well for what I had in mind, which was to cover as much ground as possible in a somewhat even layer. And I can for certain run it right down the edge and it will probably help deposit more over the side. I'm going to assume so. And if I need more of it, I've got some in my shovel ready to go. I've got my edges. I'll let the rest of that relax. I've got some Floetrol in a cup over here. I'm not sure if you can see that or not. And I've got my lucky clothing tag, <laughs> which could be any kind of piece of acetate. That one's a well-used piece of acetate. So like I said, I definitely heard my muse say turquoise, and I'm not entirely sure that I'm not going to put some Decor Americana 24 karat gold with orange in it, and this is Decor Americana 24 karat gold without orange in it. I don't know how that's going to work at all. I'm a little nervous about that, actually. And we'll see what I feel about what we might need. I'm going to grab a little scrape dish. Throw my spatula in the bucket. Actually, I've got a scrape dish, so that's cool. I'll just continue to use it. And I'm going to start the way I anticipated. And I'm going to use my residuals, even though they're not exactly black. I'm going to definitely, I'm going to just use, keep using my card because I don't need to get rid of those bubbles. Pretty sure I can get rid of them by squishing them. With the card. should have skipped covering my edges to tell you the truth because I always have paint left over on my card that I could use. It's going to be a little messy. I want some Floetrol every time. And I'm going to use that residual. I'm going to start I'm going to use my residuals again on my edge. And I'm going to scrape off my card. And I'll come back over on this side. Scrape off my paint. That's pretty cool. I'm liking it. I am picking up and putting down my card so that I carry some of the colors from the previous spot. And there's a lot of paint on here, so I am definitely having to wipe it off in my scrape dish. I'm probably going to use a much smaller card in a minute. create some new stripes of a different size. I'm not minding any of that. I'm probably going to use my small spatula to tap a few things into place. I'm going to snag some of this. And play with that right there. Because I can. And 
and I might continue to do it until I don't like the effect. And I like the effect, so I might continue to do it. Chances are very good. There is way more paint on this canvas than I anticipated. But I'm just going to keep having some, some fun. And I like it. I just missed the pink in the middle. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that yet. Maybe something. Oh, that side doesn't have any paint on it. Cool. I can use residuals in my dish for that. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to grab, what number are you? Are you in the bucket? I am going to grab a spatula that I seldom use, and that is my number three. And I'm just going to use it to draw in right where my little spots are, and maybe pop a couple bubbles as I go along. I will still use the torch. It is worth it to me to not have to fill all of the gaps to begin with, because that would have been even more paint than I've got now. The Floetrol in the paint mixtures, in my paint mixtures, will naturally level the paint out, but it won't necessarily fill the gaps. It could, but it probably won't. I wouldn't bet on it, either way. <laughs> I do see that I want, I wish I'd saved a shovel full of paint, and I'm looking for the silver, and the silver is right in front of me. Just gonna fill in that little gap, because it's almost white, and I like that about it. I could probably just keep filling in, like this one has a white gap. Probably by the time I'm done with adding another tool in there in a minute, it's not going to make any difference at all. Just dipping the tip in. All right, so here goes nothing sort of thing. He said nervous. <laughs> I found a nice little piece. I'm not sure if I'm going to serve any good purpose doing this or not, but I really want to know. I might wind up making stripes all the way down. I can also use the tip of that. I kind of like that, actually. So far, anyway. Obviously, the other good thing to stick in gaps is just your finger. Not putting any pressure on that at all, other than what it takes to keep it stuck to the canvas. I hope I'm not sorry. It's a lot of stripes. I am managing to keep a lot of my cells. I totally like the hot orchid on the edges, but I miss it in the middle, and I'm thinking if I had put it in the middle, I would be happy now. <laughs> 
So, that's interesting. I want to try my basting brush. Come on. I would prefer not to drop it into the painting. I'm going back and forth. First one way, and then the other. But I like those colors dragged over the black. And I like the black mix, mixing from the tines of the basting brush into the colors. So I'm thinking it's less important to go back and forth and more important to get the stripes I want. And I like all the stripes. Stripes on top of stripes on top of stripes. Still not keeping me from wanting color down the center. I've got two minutes to tell you guys I do sell my artwork and if you should be interested in making a purchase, please feel free to contact me through the email address that's under the link tree. You have to open show, show more under the video. I just want another little area that continues on the rest and I'm not sure why it's not there to tell you the truth. Even down to the um, hot orchid. I'll just fake it out a little bit, let the eye get blend. So thank you guys for um, shopping my Amazon link. I really appreciate it. It's a, people who shop there, it's at no it cost to you, but it helps me buy art supplies, and I really appreciate that. Check out my Teespring clothing below the video. If you ever want to see anything produced as an all-over print legging and, or t-shirt or any of the other things that there are, are there, you can just ask me and I'll try and add them. I want to do something to the middle of this. And you might be gone before I'm done. But I want the hot orchid in the middle and I'm not... <laughs> Not done until I do it. I like that better. So, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying I love you guys. There's over 91,000 of you. Probably just going to use the spatula of the length of this to integrate those little blobs on the end so they don't look so blobby. And then I'm going to call it good because I do like it now. I didn't hate it before, but I do like it better now. I got one minute left to tell you guys there's a drawing every month for artworks that helps support the studio's production of videos. You can see the exhibition video for every month on the end screen video, and that's also where I put the, pro the drawing prizes for any given month. Well, I got to keep some of the white in the middle, and I like that. I don't see all that much of the silver. Probably will just keep putting my spatula in there until I modify the stripes that make me feel like I'm getting what I want. And I like it. It's almost there. So please give me a thumbs up if you share my videos and like my videos and uh, Watch some of the notifications come out and watch them longer. Those are all really helpful things along with your comments. Thank you so much for your, your kind contributions and your kinder comments. I really appreciate you guys keeping my morale boosted. I love you. I will see you anon. Bye for now. Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida, out. Come again. There's 1,800 videos in case you heard that. You can find them on my YouTube channel. Ask me questions if you want.